Hello people, this is Aracopra and this is Let's Play Fallout New Vegas Blind. Last time we managed to convince the Great Counts not to join us, but at least to leave the area. And, well that might have been for bed today, we're gonna talk... There's well, still someone we need to talk to, right? Yeah, I should probably talk to the Falls of the Apocalypse first, but as of that we're gonna go talk to the Brotherhood of Steel. And I already decided who I will bring... What the hell did I just do down there? Huh. Anyway, I made it go away. That's what's important. Anyway, I already decided who to bring with me. Today we'll bring... What's up? Yeah. Uh, you. Veronica, What's that's up? your name. Let's go make trouble. See you around. Yeah, have a bit of... A bunch of shut-ins who scorn outsiders and hold technology over them. Gee, where have I heard that one before? Anyway, uh, yeah, I have a bit of a problem remembering their names because, well, they don't really say much. Uh, sometimes they'll come with a comment and I'll talk with them, but outside of that, they don't really make their presence known. I mean, they find people and stuff, but that doesn't really make me help them. Rem that doesn't really help me remember the name, now does it? Anyway, I'll see you again at the, you know, Falls of the Apocalypse place. You know? I thought, since we're going to visit the Falls of the Apocalypse anyway, how about we set up that listening post and see if we can figure out what's up with uh, Mr. House's supposed immortality. Or at least longevity. Okay, let's see. We have to get in there. Or maybe up here. Does not seem to have provoked a response. Interesting. All right, she's right here, so let's talk with her. Hey, have you been able to bug Mr. House's network yet? It looks like we've started getting reports from the tower's network. I'm sure the others will be able to make some sense of this. Oh, what the hell? The bug went offline. Damn it! I swear to God, that old man has thought of everything. Well, it looks like this was all for nothing. But you did your best. I appreciate the help. No prop. So, I guess I'll just go to the base now. Huh. Ah! I'm under attack, suddenly! Oh. What's my friends? I can handle a fuck like that on my own. What the hell was his problem? Where's my robot? Where's my friends? Jeez. They just right up and disappeared. This is weird. I better return to the tower. Maybe they're set to wait or something, I don't know. Anyway, when I find them, I'll just go to the Falls of Apocalypse place. Hey, guess what? More hostiles! Yeah, I don't think you're allowed to be here, by the way. You're so screwed. Ah. 
Beautiful. Thanks, robots. Oh, it's nice to know that I can still make you hop and dance for me. Alright. I just need to find a leader of some sort. Wasn't there a lady somewhere over here-ish? Hey. Hey. Maybe you? No. Maybe this will take me to a leader. Oh. Hey, good to see you. We're always looking for new members. Does he have any particular talent? Well... He seemed bright enough when I talked to him. He's obviously sensitive, and he does love literature. Hmm. So? Yeah. Excellent. Ezekiel's been after me to find him a new assistant for ages. Tell the boy we'll take him. So maybe you have some other questions for me? More than rough. It's a damn mess. Freeside townies are constantly picking fights with NCR civilians. Thugs and thieves are always looking for a victim, and the local families are just sitting back making caps on the mess. Freeside is in dire need, but no one has been man enough to step up. The followers can only do so much to stem the tide. There is always something needing done. A few souls here in Freeside could be great assets to the community, if they'd kick their addictions. We need a regular supply of medicine organized, but the Crimson Caravan wants too many caps for what we need. Lastly, tensions between the townies and NCR tourists have been going downhill fast lately. A lot of innocent people will get hurt if things blow up. Yes, old Bill Ronte and Jacob Hoff. They're not going to kick their habits on their own. Old Bill Ronte is an exceptionally skilled machinist. He could fix the problems we've been having with Freeside's water pump, if he sobered up. Okay. The Garretts hooked Jacob on chems when he was working for them. Ironic, since he used to homebrew detox chems. He's a natural chemist. In Freeside, the drunks and drug addicts flock in and around the Atomic Wrangler. I'd start there. Sobering them up and putting them back to work would go a long way toward helping Freeside. What do you want to talk about? Yes, let's just stare awkward, awkwardly into each other's eyes like that. Anyway, yeah, let's help those these people first. So it sounds like a good idea. What's it pointing over there? Oh, strange. Alright, let's cure some addicts. Seems to be over there. Where is she? Damn rat! <laughs> Scared the hell out of me. I thought I was going to attack. But, I'm gonna kill it just because it's bad. Didn't seem that dangerous. Oh, hey, there's uh, some people running around over there. Hmm, I haven't really been in this part of town. Oh, someone dropped a tire iron there. Odd. Hey, yeah, kids. Hi. Hey, buddy. Spare a cap? I can make it worth your while. The first thing you should know is that Freeside is run by a pack of yahoos that call themselves the Kings. Their leader, who oddly enough calls himself the King, currently has his hands full trying to prevent an all-out riot in Freeside. That's two tips, but what the hell? You're a new customer, so the extra one's on me. Wanna hear another? 
Sure. A traveler that passed through here not long ago told everyone he met that there's some kind of plant paradise to the west, where food is abundant. All the people foolish enough to listen to him and head out that way never came back. What do you say? Want another tip? Yeah, I already kind of knew that one, but the first one was actually kind of interesting. People in Freeside generally fall into one of two categories. Those who've been here all their lives call themselves locals. When people from the NCR and other places started pouring in, the locals began referring to them as squatters, and the name stuck. The locals blame the squatters for the scarcity of resources in Freeside, and the squatters blame any act of violence against them on the locals. They're both right to some extent, and violent outbreaks between the two are all too common these days. Hmm. That one was pretty good, right? How about another? Well, I have plenty of bottle caps, so... There's a guy out on the main drag who sells second-hand adventuring gear. He's got an okay selection. But where does it come from? What do you say? Want another tip? Sure. Have you tried going to the strip only to be stopped by those big metal murder machines? Happens every day around here. But if you know the right people, you can get through the gate without being a rich man. And sometimes when I you are the right I people, you can also get through without being. Another. He might not look it, but Ralph for Mick and Ralph's is no slouch with a keyboard. I've heard he's helped reprogram several robots in his time. What do you say? Want another tip? Sure. The NCR used to run a prison to the southwest, but something happened a little while back, and now all you'll get is hard looks if you ask about it. Ah, the powder cannons. I got more where that came from. Want another? Sure. Traders have been griping for a while now about I-15 being too dangerous to travel. I'd steer clear of it unless you're armed to the teeth. I got more where that came from. Want another? Keep them coming. Saw a strange thing the other day. The king took that robo dog of his over to the old Mormon fort. Weird thing was that the dog was flipping out and had to be restrained by a few of the king's men. Hope he doesn't get loose. What do you say? Want another tip? In the area between the north and east gates is the old Mormon fort, where the followers of the apocalypse have set themselves up. The followers aren't a bad bunch, and provide healing and supplies to the people of Freeside as they can. That one was pretty good, right? How about another? Nah. I understand. Well, have a good day. You too. Hope this helps. Is this your house? Well, I can assume so since you're squatting out here. So, I'll well, not look Robert. Hmm. Did I go too far this time? No. Huh. Oh right, I still got tracking that quest. Well, might as well do it now that I'm out here.